And that's how it went for hours. We can arrest you, we can do this to you, we can do that to you. And in the end, I felt so, I kept telling them, I need someone to take my blood pressure. My blood pressure is very high. In the end, they brought paramedics who confirmed that my blood pressure was very high and I had chest pains and anxiety, but still they wouldn't give me my medication. <sighs> Despicable beyond words. The CBSA and the Peel police actually used Sophia's life-sustaining medication as a bargaining chip to get access to her personal medical records. And these uniformed thugs almost blew it when Sophia looked as though she was going to go into cardiac arrest. Thank goodness some paramedics intervened and prevented Sophia from having a heart attack. Not that the Pearson punks were remorseful, mind you. In fact, they even issued Sophia with a fine of $7,500 again despicable beyond words. In any event, you had plenty to say regarding airport law enforcement trying to shake down a senior in a truly grotesque fashion. Kader931 writes, This makes me sick to my stomach. Canada has become a disgusting, corrupt country under Trudeau. Well, a lot of people might say corrupt is too harsh a term, but I'm with you, Kader931. When law enforcement uses sustaining medicine, life-sustaining medicine, that is, as a bargaining chip to get a senior citizen with a heart condition to comply with their demands, yeah, that's the definition of corrupt, all right. Oh, and don't expect Justin Trudeau to have any empathy. He doesn't have to endure any of this airport acrimony whenever he buggers off to Tofino or Costa Rica for one of his surfing safaris. Phoenix Sky writes, First off, I want to say that how this woman was treated was deplorable and unconstitutional. The fact that she was not allowed to access her luggage where she had placed her blood pressure medications is egregious. My question is, why couldn't one of the customs police officers detaining her not access and open her luggage, albeit with her permission, of course, in order to access her needed medications. Well, Phoenix Guy, you're absolutely correct. Giving Sophia her medicine would have been the civil thing to do, would have been the right thing to do. But Sophia was dealing with bullies who were playing hardball that day. They should be ashamed of themselves. G Flood writes, So I really should not take a connecting flight in Vancouver between the U.S. and the Philippines. Oh, G Flood, if you can get a direct flight and avoid any Canadian airport, trust me, whatever that upcharge amounts to, it is worth every penny. And oh, so Suki Suki writes, lawyer up, have any of these fines stuck? Well, funny you should mention that, Suki, because Sophia is our latest Fight the Fines candidate. Even though this program officially ended several weeks ago, we thought that Sophia's case was just so egregious that we had to make room for one more client. And by the way, folks, our friends at the Democracy Fund are currently representing more than 2,200 people whose rights have been compromised. If you would like to help cover Sophia's legal fees, please make a donation at fightthefines.com. It is truly a most worthy cause. Hey, folks, that was an excerpt from my show, Rebel Roundup. Now, to get the full meal deal, why not go to Rebel News Plus, sign up, and never miss a Rebel News Plus show in the future.